Hey guys, it's Amanda. Sorry I haven't been on here for a couple weeks. I've been busy, but I'm here with you today to do a tag and of course it's going to be the 2014 New Year's tag. And this is by Aaron Monaghan and you should go check out his video because it's pretty awesome. So he did a lot of cool stuff this year. Anyways, let's get to the tag. Okay, the first question is, if you could look back at one memory this year you missed and could relive it, what would it be? Well, the first thing that came to mind when I read this question was a time that me and my husband went on a vacation. It was actually in early March, and we went to the mountains in North Carolina. It was a little place called Lake Lure. And just a fun fact, that's also where the movie Dirty Dancing was um, filmed. But we had an awesome time, you know, it was just time for us to find each other and just to spend quality time together and it's something I would not take back for the world. Okay, number two, do you keep your New Year's resolution and would you make more for next year? Okay, so I did keep my New Year's resolution. It took me a while to get there, but my first resolution was to stop smoking cigarettes in 2014. It took me a while, like I said, but I have officially stopped smoking cigarettes for four whole months now. Woohoo! So I'm proud of myself for that. The second one was to become closer with my husband and to stop obsessing over kids. If anyone knows me, they know that I've had some troubles in the past with um, not conceiving but keeping the babies. And I was letting it run my life, basically. I had no happiness in my life. And so now I'm on birth control. I took the time to find myself. Me and my husband spend, you know, quality time together and we're on a break. And we're just going to put that on the back burner for a while. And I have kept that resolution. Number three, do you have a New Year's resolution? If so, what is it? Okay, I do have a num I do have a New Year's resolution and I actually just made this up for the video. So my first one is to put up at least two videos a week on YouTube. I feel like if I do that, I'll get more subscribers and stuff like that. Um, second thing is to focus more on makeup and beauty because I really love doing it. And um, I really want to show you guys more. So I feel like that should be a resolution. And number three is a joke, but it's to save money in 2015. Yeah, nobody can save money these days. Okay, so number four. What are the best songs released this year? Okay, I'm just going to play them for you. If you want to know those songs, just look in the description and I got them there. Okay, what is something you would like to have in 2015 that you like in 2014? This is something I've wanted for a very long time, but I hope I can get it this year. Not that I really need it, but I want a MacBook Pro. Oh my God, I want one so bad. So hopefully I can get one this year. If not, that's cool too. Okay, so the next question is... Here we go. Most worn clothes item in 2014. And that's really weird that you asked this question because it's actually the pants I have on right now. I don't know if you can really see them. Let's see. They just fit so awesomely. And I don't know. That's just, this has been my favorite pair of pants all year round. Okay, and they're stretchy. So during the holidays, I did not feel like I was being choked out by my pants. Okay, biggest achievement of the year. Okay, well this would have to be learning to let go of my obsession with TTC because like I said, I started letting it control my life and now I'm in a place where I can be happy, you know, without 
without that part. So, number nine. What is the best thing you bought this year? It had to be my small supply of high-end makeup. If you watch my channel, you know that I do a little bit of makeup stuff. I've actually only put one video up. But this year, I've really started focusing on doing makeup and beauty, and I really love it. Okay, number ten. What is something you discovered about yourself? Back to the kids thing, I used to think that the only way I could be happy during life was if I had children. Well, now I have discovered about myself during this break that I can be happy without kids. That's not something I want to do, but I can see myself moving on and being happy without it if, you know, if I had to. Number 11, what was your favorite TV program? Definitely the Vampire Diaries. Like, I'm obsessed with the Vampire Diaries. Don't ask me. It's kind of corny, but I love it. Okay, so the last question is, tell us a valuable life lesson you learned in 2014. I learned that I cannot get my way 100% of the time. I'm a married girl now, so I had to learn to give and take. And since I've started doing that, our marriage has been so much better, you know, I can't be a spoiled little princess to get my way all the time. And another thing I have, you know, learned is that if you are happy with yourself, that's all that matters. At the moment, I'm 100% satisfied with the person I am, and so I'm a very happy person. But that's my tag. I'll put the questions and the songs from 2014 down below. Like and subscribe. Do this video. Have a good day. Bye.